tortoise. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get into it. I just wanted to show y'all something that I found a while back. I don't think I ever went through and showed anybody else, but I figured I might as well go through and go ahead and put it on here now. We're fighting the Endomantis. It's a really OP boss, basically. It's hard to kill. I spent four hours the last time just trying to get itself halfway down with a sword. However, I found another way to do it that is much more efficient and is a lot easier. So if this is your first time ever fighting him, definitely let up and everything. And then go through and here real quick While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and do this last little bit real quick. Go through and make the last one that I need to do. Okay, where is it at? There we go. Let's get into it, baby. Dude, you can't be serious! Oh crap, you are! That's not a beast. That's a mountain. Perhaps this is one mountain we should reconsider. Not! Do you seriously mean to do this? Not! Come on, man, not cool! 
Well, I've heard of moving mountains, but taking one down, that's a twist. It's weird, because the last time I did this, you'd go through, you do this, and his face becomes deformed, basically. Worry about yourself. Want some? Yeah, I don't know if most of y'all know this or not, but the uh, ring actually works really well on dark creatures. Most of you probably already know that by now, but this is just one of the ways that I figured out to um, kill this character with ease. As you can see, his head's already shrunk in a lot. Anyone? See, just look at that. That's not normal. Now, I'm not gonna finish him off too fast, but I am gonna start working on his other body parts just so I can show y'all how 
objective form this character can actually get. He's already dead. You see that? Oh no, he's not already dead. Go back to working on its side. I'm gonna start working on other parts of his face.
See, at this point, there's no point in even getting any close to him at all. This is supposed to be the legendary boss. Like, look at that face. Look at how deformed that looks. Just look at him. He look little. Like, look at this dude. This ain't normal. <laughs> you see this shit? Look at how little he looks. <laughs> That's what that ring does to him, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Like he little, little, little. I still can't get get that off my sight. That's just hilarious. <laughs> this don't look like nothing like no damn tur tortoise. I don't know what this thing is. Uh, all right, it's time to finish him off real quick. Well, if I can not almost die because I'm so fucking close to him, but. As you can see, the ring works wonders on this type of creature. I personally think it's hilarious on how he looks. 
That's just me. Not everybody has that type of sense of humor anyway, so... Look at him, he's like not even a real thing anymore. And this is supposed to be one of the hardest enemies in the game. Granted, he can't one-shot you, but... Us a nice long picture from way back here. Still doing massive amounts of damage to him, but now he's like not even there. Do you see this ship? Am I for real fighting the boss of the fucking game? Or one of the bosses of the game? Like. Doesn't seem right. It just seems too easy. Like, look at that face. This doesn't look anything like anything. He just looks like a deformed creature. Look at that face. He don't even have a face anymore. Do you see this shit? Look at this. This looks more like a fucking Star Trek ship, honestly. This don't look like a monster or an enemy. This looks like a fucking spaceship. This looks exactly like what a spaceship would look like. From the front, yes, that's what exactly what it looks like. But I digress. All right, let's finish him off. Certainly didn't expect this much trouble. It's nice knowing you guys. There you go. As simple as that. Easy. And... Voila. It's like a nice and simple, easy way to do it. And at the same time... We actually did it! You can easily do it. Piece of cake, huh? With no problem. After an infinite regression, we arrived at an answer. The turtles all the way down. And there you have it. Oh. Now let's go turn back in this stuff. Ugh, it's so far. But, I mean... Knocked! Overhead! I'm not worried about fighting anybody else right now. I'm just gonna go turn this in.
Let's go turn this in real quick and then who knows what. Uh, oh, just y'all. Y'all did good. All that just for that one. I can twist. tell you all about the area. And that's how you do it. Everything in order. Yep. All right. All right. I don't know why it's not letting me do that. But I mean, hey. Yeah, let me out. Could really use a car wash. And then we'd best stop at the nearest petrol station. Ready? Let's hit it. Roll out. Fastest way to get around. Only thing is, this thing can get sketchy trying to fly around, especially when you're trying to land somewhere. It's really sketchy. Remember that place? That's where we fought the Titan. But if you didn't watch earlier, the tortoise map was really deformed. I personally think it's hilarious. But almost there. I'm gonna show you another spot where you can go to rest that will give you a lot of I think it's three times the amount of experience. So, honestly, I think it's it's worth it. It's definitely worth going through and using the spells the way I'd use them. Preferably use it with eight antique coins, but I only had the one, so I used the one. Normally, if you're gonna if you're trying to get to level 100 or you're trying to max out your levels, save up all your antique coins go up against a big boss use a bunch of them that's the best way to do it put uh, eight eight coins with it it'll give you five instead of just the three attacks and yeah that's 
the best way to do it. I'm going to try to land real quick. So landed without having a problem that time. That's good. I don't know if most of y'all know that, but uh, there's actually different parts for the regalia that you can buy. So like, you got different headlights that way. If you're driving at night, you ain't got to worry about any of the demons or anything spawning in front of you or anything like that. It actually makes it really worthwhile. Then you got different other types of uh, stuff you can get on there like engine that makes it go faster you got different gas tank I believe that makes it to where you don't have to stop and get gas for forever so you know the more you uh, and the more you know but uh, just like and subscribe be nice to get more people out there you now we're gonna continuously look into some more things. Uh, I know here in a little bit I'm probably going to get on some near Automata and show y'all the famous sex robots. It's a bunch of robots basically having sex trying to make babies even though they're robots. They can't. So then they decide to all form up together and end up creating a living human I guess. I wouldn't really say it's a human. More like a android but I mean, it is what it Look is. Look at all these lights! What a relief! Indeed. They ought to keep the demons at bay. Now, where was that thing at? Welcome, boys. Looks like you could use a good meal. Come again. No, where do I go to ah. travel? Where was it at? There's the chocobo. Wah. I don't remember where the thing is, so let's see. Oh well. Take a look at this. What about it? Sure, I'll stay here you at the one point two. In King's Night? Oh yeah, I'm game. In that case, I'll join you. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. You know, like and subscribe. I'll uh, hop on some near automata here in a little bit. So, like and subscribe. That way, you can see the sex robots.